The 76ers anxious to get off the bus and get down to business. A look from earlier as they arrived at the arena. Welcome to the New Year's Eve festivities here on 2K Sports. We're ready to bring the year to a close in style. Moments away, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Cleveland Cavaliers here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson. With me tonight, Grant Hill and Chris Weber. Allie LaForce joins us as well. And with a new class entering the league, here is our rookie race. A look at the early returns. Plenty of time for someone who might not be on the list to become a big-time factor. He's hanging towards the back of the pack in the early goings. But there's still time left for him to have a breakout performance. And a number of rookies look like they have bright futures ahead of them. Well, that would be the indication so far. I mean, they've contributed to their teams instantly at the start of the season. And with tip-off coming right up, we've got just enough time to hear from the sideline. Allie, what do you got for us? Tobias Harris is the straw that stirs the drink in Philly, if you will. He said, quote, I see myself as the connector here, bringing guys together. I've been around the game a minute. I know how to communicate with different personalities. I'm here for one reason only, to help this team get to the championship. Guys, back to you. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thank you. And celebrating New Year's Eve with a little basketball. Grant, what better way to do it? Well, B.A., yeah, I can think of a few. <laughs> but, no, in all seriousness, to be able to play basketball at the end of the year, the game that you love, the game that's created so many opportunities for you and your family, and to do it on the highest stage in the NBA, Hey, I always feel like it's a blessing, and to do it on New Year's Eve is pretty special. So let's take a look at the starters for the Philadelphia 76ers. Harris and Embiid make up the front court. Ben Simmons is out. There was Matisse Thibel, and it's Green in at the small forward. And for Cleveland, Osman at small forward with Love at the four. Garland and Sexton are the backcourt tandem, and it's Drummond in at the five down low. Now here's Simmons. Giving them some good production, putting up just around 16 and a half points a game. And with good size for his position, Green uses his length to finish shots from all over. Here's Garland. Drummond finds love. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Love. Now here's Simmons. Coming off a solid outing against Oklahoma City. Pass to Harris. Back to Simmons. Here's Embiid. Now Harris. Covered by Love. Clock at four. From deep, here's Simmons. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Their last meeting was in Philadelphia, where they were unable to fight off the Sixers. If they want to beat these guys this time, they have to do better on the glass. That was their undoing. They needed more fire and intensity tonight. Even if they don't win the battle of the boards, they have to put up a fight. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet them. Yeah, very little resistance. You have to bring much faster help than that. Pass to Osman. Over to the wing. He can't get it to go. Green with the defensive effort. Philadelphia has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. And here's Embiid. Over Drummond. Embiid can't hit. The Cavaliers have gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Pass to Drummond. And there's the foul. It's on Joel Embiid. That's his first foul of the game. About two minutes gone by in the first quarter. Here's Osman. Let's go with a three. And he's in the book. Now one for two. Got to respect Love's ability to make that pass. I mean, a sensational look from the big fella. For Philadelphia, they've gone two of four so far. Pass to Harris. Embiid against Drummond. 
Embiid can't hit. I like what he was trying to do, shaking the D with the fadeaway. Tough look. And you know, B.A., the biggest asset for Colin Sexton is his speed. He can absolutely blow by defenders in transition. His first step, man, it lets him get by those defenders in the half-court sets as well. Now here's Simmons. Green for three. Oh, he missed it. Making him one for two now. Outside Garland. Pass to Drummond. Over Green. This is off the right iron. And you know, Grant, with Sexton, when he gets it going, he can be a blur on the court. A blur indeed. I mean, he really has speed and knows how to take advantage of it. He likes to press the defense in transition at all times. And a lot of his baskets can come from just speed alone. Here's Garland. The Sixers getting their last shot to go. Pass to Drummond. On the wing, Sexton from deep. By Cleveland. The 76ers have gone three of seven so far. And here's Thibel. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Here's Embiid. And that comes off the assist by Green. The touch Embiid has on his jumper. I mean, looking so soft and accurate. Coming out of the team. Now Garland. In the game against Miami. Very impressive. Wow. Good. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Here's Simmons. Outside, Green. From outside, off the mark. Cleveland has gone 2 of 5 from beyond the arc in the first quarter. Pass to Osman. The three is up. The rebound by Ben Simmons. The Sixers leading. Outside. Drummond against Embiid. This is another. Just one of four from the floor. The defense has done a good job of forcing him in tough shots. Pass to Drummond. Outside for Love. Here's the three. It's not going to go for him. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. They come into this one having outplayed the Thunder in their last game. And guys, those road games are never easy. But they had a solid strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Staying with your game plan is so important, especially when you are away from your home arena. Garland with the ball. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Embiid against Drummond. Sexton passes to Love. Shoots from the right block. The three. Shot clock at five. The rebound by Embiid. Oh, man, as good of a shooter as he is, it drives him crazy to miss a wide open three like that. Out to Harris. Back to Simmons. Harris, right side. No! Opportunity in a three-point play. That one's on Darius Garland. And you look at Tobias Harris. I mean, he's right at the cusp of being an all-star. Great numbers from him. Starting to hit his stride. Just needs one good year to make that jump to the next level. And the 76ers making a change here. Curry's checked in. You know, with Harris, he's a bit of a jack-of-all-trades, Chris. Yeah, Harris gives you a little bit of everything when he's on the floor. Not fantastic in any one aspect. Good. Solid. And, and that's not a knock. The team needs players like that. What's wrong with consistency? Garland, no good. Well, we talk about the value of great rim protection. That's a shot he typically makes. Oh, they get a hand on it. Sexton with it. Now guarded by Harris. Out of bounds. It'll be Sixers ball. All right, a moment to check out some numbers for Ben Simmons. And a stat to focus on is his steal total over the last five games. He's been working on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot better on D. Philadelphia with the ball. They're on a 15-6 run. Pass to Embiid. 
Morris outside. Shot clock at six. Back to Embiid. From deep, here's Simmons. Who poked away. Curry finds Simmons. Harris on the wing. Three-pointer. Drummond grabs the miss. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. On the wing, Sexton. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And the pick and roll never more popular than it is today. C-Webb is a big man setting that screen. Talk about your options and how to exploit them to the fullest. Well, we can go real quick because there's so many. How about the angle you set the screen at? You can slip. You Take can pop back, pinning your guard back to your Two back, shots. going in slow, waiting for the cadence of the point guard, acting like you're going to set it on the right, but really switching over to the left, leaving the proper angle for the pass to reach you. And then once you catch the pass, look into the corner, you either hit the corner man or go inside and dunk them And the 76ers making a change here. Both good from the line that time. Oh, he's never battled with the strike. Always has that nice soft touch on his free throws. Now here's Curry. Defense is right there. Got a hand on it. When we mentioned McGee's outstanding lift. And there, you saw what he did. He used that to swat the shot. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. They've come out of the gate strong at both ends of the floor. Just, just in total control so far. Now here's Nance. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Pass to Windler. Shoots over Curry. And too long on the shot. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. Here's Maxi. For three, here's Harris. The rebound by Allen. Here's Windler. Pass to McGee. Inside. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. White Howard picks one up. Uh, at this point of his career, McGee knows who he is. A hustler. An energy guy who uses his athleticism to his advantage. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. <laughs> Also good, so he hits both free throws. The Sixers leading. Here's Maxi. Oh, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Howard with a screen on Allen. Howard, great positioning on the putback. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Right side, Sexton. That one falls. He's now one for three. Well, he was in that range. The floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. Philadelphia shooting only 42% to get this one going. Here's Maxi. Pass to Harris. Another key contributor in that win against Miami. To the left side wing. Allen.
on attacking. Uses the glass on the layup. The assist is the key to that sequence. I mean, a great look to set him up. Here's Maxi. Howard with a screen on Allen. Harris with it. And it's McGee picking him up. And it's Howard finishing it off. Bobby Howard's way. He'll find ways to finish. That's how talented of a number. Outside Sexton. Throws it up high. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt. For three, Maxi. Cavaliers with the rebound. They're coming off that win against the Heat. Talk about strong offensive production. They went out, played to their strengths, and were successful as a result. As long as you do that, you put yourself in a good position to win, no matter if you're home or away. Howard in the high post. Harris outside. And there is a whistle. That goes on Tobias Harris. That's his first foul of the game. A foul right off the bat. You hate to pick up your first one so quick. The Cavs trailing. Sexton goes in. Pass to Nance. 19-footer. Off the left rim and out. Oh, you expect him to make those. They gotta do more to get a hand in his face next time. And here's Howard. Back to Milton. Takes it inside. Count it. One for one to start the game. Oh, improving his floor awareness. Howard is a decent assist for when this guy's roll. Pass to McGee. Here's Wendler. From deep three-point range. And it's Harris with the rebound. Harris has got his fifth rebound in this one. There's 38 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Maxi. That one no good. Some solid defense from Sexton. Well, Cleveland shooting just 21% in the first quarter. Dance outside. A nice shot by McGee. That's where McGee makes his living. On the interior, it makes them a much more effective offense when he's able to contribute in the painted area. And here's Harris. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. And he had two blocks also, don't forget. I mean, it tells you what kind of presence he was for both of the floor. And that concludes the first quarter play. The Sixers on top. They're up by eight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in a moment. And speaking with Joel Embiid earlier, he hopes to set an example for those who may want to follow in his rather large footsteps. It's a mafia. Uh, at the end of the day, you come here, you want to make an impact, and you know, share your story with everybody. Uh, and so he kind of pushes everybody back home in the whole continent to want to do the same thing. Well, certainly Embiid puts himself front and center, willing to lead the cause on and off the court. And this is where his big personality helps. He has a larger-than-life quality that moves people. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And looking at what we've seen from the Sixers, what do you guys think? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. Yeah, they really got after it. I mean, they made life extremely difficult for the shooters, which is why they hold this team. They've got Andre Drummond, and it's Nance in at the three. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. A screen by Embiid. And Simmons, here we go. Good. Simmons has got six. Such an impressive athlete. The way Simmons moves on the drive is so natural and under control. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Kevin Love is a great advocate for mental health and well-being, and there's been a need for that with the trauma of last season. He said, quote, life can hit you hard. I think the worst thing that can happen from this time is if we come out of it unchanged. Guys, he's trying to affect a positive change for those in need. I like that. Great stuff there, Allie. Thank you. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. And it's Howard finishing it off. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. 
Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Outside Garland. Pass to Nance. Six on the shot clock. Here's Wendler. The three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Simmons has got four rebounds in the game. Here's Milton. Off target from outside. For Cleveland, they've got two or three shots to go in the second. You know, one area where Andre Drummond has improved is at the free throw line. Check this out, B.A. In his first five years in the league, he shot below 40% from the free throw line. The last handful of seasons, over 50%. Now that's cut down a little bit on the hack-a-shack strategy from opposing teams. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Grant Darius Garland, a young scoring guard. This team thinks he can be a fantastic shooter. You know, he does a great job of getting his shoulder square to the hoop, even while on the move. I mean, he could be a deadly outside shooter in a very short time. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Osmond's checked in. The 76ers also with a sub. Curry's checked in. goes in. Two from the line that time. Grant, you played on many iconic teams during your career. What was your time with the seven seconds or less Suns like? Ooh, that was a blast, B.A. Up and down the court, a lot of offense. Steve Nash, Amari Stoudemire, Mike D'Antoni. Uh, what a fun system to play in. Really, and it helped revolutionize the game. The game transitioned to now more up tempo, fast break, spread the floor, shoot a lot of three-pointers. The way that Phoenix Suns team played that seven seconds or less basketball is what you're seeing now in today's. Here's Garland. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Outside Simmons. That's tipped. And so the ball out of bounds. Embiid touched it last. And some of the best high flyers in the NBA. Some of this year's contenders for the dunk contest. And when you look at the names on that list, you just know that contest has a chance to be special. And you look at Simmons, and I could see him moving even higher up in the ranks. He's certainly a talented guy up in the air. He is for sure, but this list is just packed with real aerial artists. This dunk contest is really going to be something special. And there you have it. This year's dunk contest field looks incredible. We'll keep you up to date in the voting. That is always a highlight of All-Star Weekend. Watching guys just fly through the air. And I enjoy watching all of the guys on that list slam it home. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That one's on Darius Garland. Oh, he's almost seven feet tall. Simmons is a tough guard. I mean, you got to be careful not to get too physical. You know, everybody falls in love with how Ben Simmons creates on offense. But as a defender, see Webb, he's top-notch as well. Oh, yeah, Simmons has a great sense for picking off passes and coming up with steals. Athletic frame lets him guard anybody. The kind of player that erases mismatches on defense. That free throw, no good. I mean, you got to love the skill set Simmons possesses. A nightly triple-double threat. Uh, he stuffs the stat sheet. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Love's checked in. Green's checked in for the Sixers. And the second free throw is good. The Cavs trailing. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Dance, the pass to Love. Let's it go from deep. And Andre Drummond is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. For Philadelphia, they've gone two of four here in the second quarter. Outside, Green. Pass to Embiid. Drummond with the block. 
Drummond, fearsome defensive presence. I mean, he can put you on your heels. This right here, whew, this is how you want to play the game. Passion, with energy, just great hustle play right there. Here's Drummond. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Embiid's got a rebound number five here tonight. Simmons finds Embiid. Outside Simmons. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. He's a real menace underneath. Once Simmons gets established position, you basically have to whack him. Good, Simmons. Oh and both free throws good for Simmons. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. Out left to the wing. Against Howard. Love passes to Drummond. And the jam by Drummond. Wow, that's a really astonishing play from Drummond. Carving out a ton of space thanks to his wide screen and sprinting to the basket with the true purpose. Pass to Howard. Outside Curry. To the inside. Here's Embiid. The Sixers again can't hit. He's got to be disappointed with his performance, but it'll be easy to swallow if they keep the lead. Nance. Howard grabs the miss. Howard's got five rebounds tonight. For Philadelphia, they've gone three for seven here in the second quarter. To the middle. Here's Embiid. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's going to be on Kevin Love. you got to stay down on the shot fake. But once the beat has you in the air, the rest is easy. All right, Grant, looking around the league right now, is there anyone who stands out as being vastly underrated? Wow. There, there are a few. But one player that I really like is Bam Adebayo. Now, we know he made the All-Star game last season, and rightfully so. But I think his impact on the floor defensively his athleticism, his playmaking ability, and his ability to knock down the mid-range shot and finish at the rim is very, very underrated. I love this young man's game, and he has a bright future in front of him. Makes everybody better, too. Exactly. That one falls, so he hits both of them. He's one of the league's best free throw shooting bigs. A performance like this certainly proves it. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Oh, that's good. Love sinks these catch and shoot jumpers so easily. I mean, his timing, his release, well, not allowing the D to react. Pass to Howard. Now here's Curry. Back to Howard. And here's Embiid. Drummond defending. Four on the clock. Embiid gets the bucket. Embiid's got eight points. Can't let Embiid get comfortable inside. He's this close. He's adept at burning the defense. Drummond with the ball. Pass to Nance. And he drives in. Drops in the layup for two. Nance has gotten four this quarter. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easily it makes it for him to get to the cup. Simmons, the pass to Green. Now here's Embiid. Drummond defending. And it's going to be a three-second call. Here's what the Cleveland Cavaliers have lined up on their schedule. On Friday, they kick off a road trip to New York where they'll take on the Knicks. And then on Sunday, they'll be matching up with Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat.
and looking at the Dallas matchup, that's one that could easily go either way. A few mistakes could be the difference. I expect it to be a fun one. It's another three for Cleveland. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. Simmons, the pass to Embiid. Now Green. Now Embiid. He picked up 21 points in their last win against Oklahoma City. Relentless on the glass. Words are largely about how much you want it. They've been taking care of business. Especially at the offensive end, where they've been totally in sync. Drummond with the ball. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Miami. Look at the number of shots he blocked. Almost single-handedly changed the game. Sexton's checked in for Nance. Harris has checked in for the Sixers. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. <laughs> and that's exactly what a team needs when they're trailing. Energy on the defensive side of the ball. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. It's a five-point game. Pass to Sexton. Five to shoot. On the take. Gets it to go. Makes him two for five. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Simmons up top. Guarded by Garland. Count it. Simmons has got seven points here in the quarter. Such a consistent night for him from the field. Whenever they've needed him, he's been their safety guard. Out to the right wing. Pass to Sexton for three. And the Cavaliers, another three. Don't forget about this fella for a second. He is the definition. Simmons, pass to Green. Embiid with it. Drummond defending. Let's it fly. Embiid gets the bucket. Embiid's got 10. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Here's Garland. No good on the triple. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards. Fighting hard for every miss. Simmons finds Embiid. And here is Green. Outside Simmons. Demonstrating how fast he is. Simmons enjoys going up to hammer on the alley. And the Cavaliers call time here. Boy, Grant, the story of your NBA career, overcoming that devastating ankle injury, I think that was in year six. Now, you tried to play through it at first. Hindsight 2020 now. Do you approach it any differently? No question, B.A. I would have sat down and not played and probably trusted my instincts way back then. Uh, you know, certain players, when they get hurt, if they're told they're going to be out for two weeks, they'll try to come back in one week. And there's certain players, if they're told they're going to be out for two weeks, they'll come back in four weeks. <laughs> I was the former. And so I needed someone to protect me from myself at times. Thankfully, in today's game, they're much more cautious and big picture oriented. And so when players get hurt, they're thinking long term as opposed to getting them back out there for that next game like they did 20 years ago. what the Eastern Conference standings look like. Taking a look at Philadelphia, they're sitting at the top of their conference right now with the number one record. And check it out, Cleveland. Well, record-wise, not even in the same conversation. Well, I think for Cleveland, with their early struggles, this team hasn't exactly progressed as much as we thought they might. Well, it's clear they didn't do enough in the offseason. Any kind of major improvement. And McGee with the stuff. 
Well, that's just too easy for me. I mean, the minute he establishes position in this area, the defense is done. And it's out of bounds. The Sixers able to retain possession here. He had the right idea, just couldn't come up with the swipe. And you can tell he feels he should have had it still. The hustle was impressive. Outside Thibel. Pass to Embiid. Over to the left wing. Outside Milton. Just five on the clock. From deep. The offensive rebound. And that one good. Embiid's got 12 points. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. On the wing, Sexton. He's got nine. He's off on that one. The 76ers have gotten eight of 14 shots to drop so far in the second. Outside Milton. Pass to Harris. Late clock. The Sixers need to put one up here. Goes up at the strike. Poke loose. Cleveland has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. We've got 128 left in the second quarter. Count it. I mean, it took him a long time to get into the flow of the game, but the points are starting to come. They get it again. Pass to Embiid. Outside Thibault. Now here's Milton. Eight points in his last timeout. Here's Maxi. Oh, he tries a three. That's good. His first made shot in three attempts. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Uh, we see this all too often. You have to be willing to put it. Outside Garland. Spins. Up again. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. McGee's got four points in the quarter. Specialty of McGee's in activity guy who's opportunistic on the offensive glass. Back to Milton. Puts up a three. The rebound by Garland. Embiid can't hit. The Cavs trailing. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Wendler. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Miami. Missed inside. Milton. Out to the right wing. Here's Embiid. The Sixers again can't hit. Analytics already don't favor the mid-range jumper, let alone against exceptional defense. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. The Sixers on top. They lead by five. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. Ben Simmons putting in some incredible work. He had 13 points, two assists, and four rebounds. It's been quite a night so far for him. And from what we saw so far from the 76ers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Tremendous game so far for Simmons. He's really on the offensive end of the floor. This is the production you want from him every night. Shaq, how do you think Cleveland played? Well, they could be ahead in this game if they were taking care of the boards. More possession means more scoring opportunities. Two rebounds either way could decide the outcome of the game. Ultimately, this game will come down to who wants it more. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer.
we've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Really an incredible game from Ben Simmons. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And as they can't slow him down, you know what you do? You keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. This is the right game plan. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Taking a look at Philadelphia. Harris and Embiid make up the front court. Matisse Thibel out there with Ben Simmons. And it's Green in at the three. Small forward. Out of bounds. It'll be Sixers ball. An easy pass turns into a terrible turnover. And that's a possession waste. The Sixers leading. Simmons, the pass to Green. From down in the low post, it goes. Green's got five now. Oh, an underrated athlete, if you ask me. Green has the leaping ability to do damage inside. And one of the most valuable aspects of Danny Green is, is his defense. He's gotten it done on that end of the floor his whole career. It's what makes him so valuable on the Here's Garland. Simmons defending to the left wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Osman. Lays it up and banks it in. Osman's gotten his second bucket. Well, Chris, with Danny Green, he'll do everything he can to badger an assignment. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's just petty stuff, like standing too close to him, grabbing the dead balls, holding their arms and holding their jerseys. I mean, those things can get in your head, under your skin, and throw you off the game. Harris finds Embiid. Over Drummond. The three. Here's Harris. Knocks down the triple. He has six. Now, we've seen an improvement in this aspect of Harris's game. I mean, his ability to stretch the floor with the shooting. Nice. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Pass to Osmond on the wing, Sexton. Well, there's the drive. And it's good. Two points. That's a perfect setup. Solid screen. Defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the buckets. To the wing on the left. Here's Embiid. It's good. And a beautiful setup from Simmons that time. Embiid's got 14 points. Offensive game of the big fella. I mean, and B's game is so powerful. That's why you can't let him get hot. Pass to Osman. And here's Love. Pounded by Harris. Six to shoot. Fader on the way. That one rolls around and rims out. Turns an easy jump shot into a tough one by going to the fadeaway. Look what happened. Simmons, the pass to Embiid. Five points in the game. Embiid with it. Over Drummond. Embiid misses. Now here's Garland. He has seven. Pass to Osman. Outside Garland. Here's Osman. Three pointer. With the board. Harris with it. Picked up by Sexton. Harris goes in. And Harris throws it down. Oh, I love the tenacity that Harris plays with a ridiculous dunker off the trial. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Timeout call, the Cavaliers. Well, Chris, not a ton of minutes for Thibel in his rookie year, but he got a steady helping of floor time. Oh, yeah, man. Crowd loves him. He's a crowd favorite. Yeah, I mean, he earned it the hard way playing defense. Thibel was making plays and forcing turnovers whenever he was on the floor. Perfect energy guy to bring in off the bench for defense. And by the way, you see how crazy he is on social media? Funny guy.
incredible. Just under three and a half minutes have passed. Pass to Drummond. To the wing, right side. Love for three. And another miss by Cleveland. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Simmons, pass to Green. There's the three. Cavaliers with the rebound. They still have time to make this a game. But they really need to focus in because they let this game get away from them a little bit. Drummond, high post. The three ball. Offensive board. Nice work on the boards, paying off for the basket. Elite offensive rebound. Drummond judges shots, trajectories, and angles so well. I mean, just great hustle. Simmons, the pass to Harris. Embiid, a screen on Love. Clock at six. Harris, the shot is good. He keeps that mid-range jump shot alive. I love seeing Harris utilize this area of the floor. Pass to Drummond. Love with the ball. There's the triple. Called in by Curry. His touch has been off tonight, and now his judgment is off too. Oh, it's not a small shot. Now Simmons. Harris on the wing. And he lobs it up. And it's Simmons missing. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. No, I'm always surprised when it doesn't happen. I'm sure the two will have a good laugh about it later. That's almost a sure thing when you leave the neck wide open in the perimeter. I mean, that's his sweet spot. Pass to Harris. Here's Embiid. That one's good for two. Embiid's got four points in the quarter. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. He's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. On the wing, Sexton. He's covered by Curry. Outside for Sexton. Drummond, the screen on Curry. The 76ers have gone six for nine in the half. Out to the wing. Embiid inside. Drummond's there. And then Embiid with the dunk. Getting off the ground fast. Embiid is an absolute animal when it comes to hammering it hard. Boy, you look at Joel Embiid. He's playing really well right now. Uh, there should only be one thing they're talking about in this time. I'm trying to deny him the ball in the paint before he does any more damage. Here's Sexton. That shot off. I love to see the defense exhibit some passion and, and, and protect the rim right there. And he lobs it up top. And it's Howard finishing it off. Woo! <laughs> I just love that alley-oop slam, man. Defense.
Offense disorganized, defense pays. Dance left side, pass to Windler. Now here's Allen, fires the three. Howard grabs the miss. Howard's got six rebounds in the game. Outside Curry. Here's Allen. Checking his numbers. He's put up a little over nine points a game. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Nance, the pass to Drummond. Sexton with it. Man, just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Philadelphia has gone just one of three from deep since the break. Outside Curry. Pass to Simmons. Back to Curry. From outside the arc. No good that time. And Cleveland will come the other way. And here's Sexton. 14 points for him. Allen finds Sexton. Now Nance. Drummond up top. Guarded by Howard. The three from Sexton. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Howard's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Simmons. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. He had no answer defensively inside. McGee, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. One shot. Windler. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Pass to McGee. Outside Sexton. Chalk up two there. Kick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Right. It's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses, and that doesn't constitute defense. The fader. And that one comes up a bit short. Well, Cleveland shooting just 38% for this game so far. On the wing, Sexton. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. <laughs> no debate there. He, he got hammered. One falls, and the 76ers making a change here. Both shots good from the strike. Philadelphia has gone only one of four from three-point land in the third quarter. Here's Korkmaz. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Takes the three. The Cavaliers pull it in. Allen's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Now Sexton. 18 points for him. And there's the foul. It's on Joel Embiid. That'll be a second foul of the game. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Garland's checked in. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Harris is checked in. Pass 
to Nance. Embiid against McGee. Six to shoot. Outside Garland. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Maxi, that's good. That's just a product of good pass work. I mean, nice team basketball right there. Pass to Sexton. Here's Allen, pounded by Harris. Shot is up. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That one on Harris. Good on that one. And he sinks the second. Philadelphia has gotten only one three-pointer to fall here in the third. Five attempts. Pass to Embiid. Driving in. No good. A bit long that time. Almost too wide open there. That's like a warm-up jumper for him. Down low. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. That's a costly error. Let's see how they bounce back. Man, when you're playing from behind, that's the last thing you want to do. Make matters worse. Thibel, he's checked in for the Sixers. Knocked loose. Here's Embiid. And so the ball out of bounds. Embiid touched it last. Come on, fellas. Keep your head in the game. I mean, that pass should have been basic. And the Cavs shooting a low 29% since halftime. Outside Garland. Driving to the basket. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. There's 53 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Pass to Harris. Here's Maxi. Embiid inside. He's guarded by Nance. Embiid against Allen. Harris outside. Four on the clock. Back to Embiid. The three is up. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. Harris has got four assists in the game. Oh, he's got a role in this quarter. Taking it on himself to guide their offense. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Sexton with it. McGee a screen. Tips it. And he's doing things on the glass tonight that we don't often see. A oh, great instinct. Relentless. Seems like he's getting to every miss. And here at the end of the third, it's a double-digit ball game. The Sixers on top, up by 16. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling here on 2K Sports. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. 
And from the two guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. Oh, yeah, no need for hero ball there. I mean, you just need to make the right basketball play. Outstanding dish that time. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Kevin Love out there with Jared Allen. Then there's Jetty Osmond, and it's Nance in at the three. That's the five from Cleveland right now. Right side, Curry. And the ball out of play. The Cavaliers will have it. Green's checked in for the Sixers. This calf squad is struggling. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Allen with a screen on Simmons. Garland. The shot no good. Oh, great D that time from Harris. Pass to Embiid. Now here's Green. Now Embiid covered by Love. From inside. And there's Embiid. That one's good. And the assist by Harris. Embiid's got 23 points. Now here's Love. Pounded by Harris. Outside Garland. Pass to Nance. Just five to shoot. With a nine-footer. Was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. Yeah, guys, but where was the box out? No excuse that going on that really on the glass. Harris passes to Green. Off the mark there with a three. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for them. They double him with Harris. Back to Garland. From the arc. Drains the triple. Wow, his first triple of the second half gives him two on the night. He's not making much of an impact for me. And there's the lob. Oh, deflected. Harris outside. Outside Simmons. To the wing on the left. Here's Embiid. It's rebounded by Cleveland. up a three. Right wing. Now here's Garland. Defense right on him. Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Oh yeah. It'll do it. Wow. An emphatic two-handed slam. And here's Simmons. Harris passes to Curry. To the paint. Here's Embiid. Embiid, the second chance points on the tip in. Embiid's gotten four this quarter. Oh, you better know where Embiid is. I mean, when you lose sight of him, he'll kill you on the court. Pass to Love. Back to Garland. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Oh, one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. And here's Harris. Embiid with it. Allen defending. Tipped. Outside Garland. Harris against Love. Pass to Simmons. To the middle. Here's Embiid. The rebound by Allen. Cleveland has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Garland with the ball. Now guarded by Curry. Garland, no good. You know what a kind of competitor he is? I know he's upset with his performance and with the score. Harris with the drive. The layup off target. He doesn't get the finish, but the D's got to be quick and rotate and stop him from getting to the rim. Nance, the pass to Love. 
Garland with the ball. Allen in the high post. Him beats there. Love for three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Simmons has got nine rebounds. Oh! Come on! Get out oh, of the way! Don't get caught sleeping! But the versatility of Simmons astounding. Him. Amazing. Impressive. Dunks like this are just insane. trying to do it all himself and, and it's not working instead of forcing shots you got to focus on moving the ball and keeping everybody in the ball. here's garland to the inside here's love that one falls coming off a drum and feed and, and you see the work drumming is put in the pass from the ball solid is spotting the open man. harris outside down low. Here's Embiid. Here's Simmons. And it's Simmons with the jam. Woo! <laughs> I just love that alley you slam. Defense disorganized. Defense paid. Drummond. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Okay. I, I, I see Drummond's offensive game starting to evolve a little bit. He's learning how to trick the D with the nice pump. Get the first one. You know, what I like about Drummond is that he stepped up as a leader, which is important at this stage of his career. And no good on the second free throw. So 0 for 2 there. The 76ers have gone 4 for 10 in the fourth. To Harris. Inside. From close range. And there's MB. That one's good. And the assist by Harris. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Now Sexton. Outside low. Here's Osman. Drummond, the screen on Curry. Pass to Sexton. Hits the trifecta. Sexton's got 12 points in just the second half. And the three-pointers is becoming a weapon for him. You can see it. This is the second of this half. Third overall. Simmons, the pass to Harris. Outside Simmons. Now here's Embiid. Curry launches it. That falls. Nice setup by Harris. Harris has got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Sexton against Green. Pass to Drummond. 
Garland with the ball. And that one hits the back iron. Simmons against Love. On the wing, Green. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Aggressive offensive mindset. Defense late to react. Green now going to the line. Shooting two. Drops a first. He's known as a three-point specialist. And Green is also an excellent perimeter defender. A great role guy who plays within himself. Good on both. Garland with the ball. to love back to Garland here's Osman five on the clock outside Garland lets the three fly but they'll get another chance oh Harris with the block oh, he's known for his offense more than defense Harris plays with his high motor and he likes to make plays. Back to Simmons. Pass to Embiid. On the wing, Green fires for three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. His three-point game hasn't been there for him today. Don't sleep on him. At any moment, he can get his touch back. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. Yeah, coach is definitely see. That's the execution we love to see. Green finds him beat. Back to Green. This one for three. Love grabs the miss. Love's got six rebounds in the game. He's done almost no damage from three-point range in this game. No threes in this half, and only one in the first. He hasn't been able to find any kind of groove in this quarter. I mean, it seems like he's been running on fumes since halftime. Simmons, the pass to Harris. Outside Simmons. Pass to Embiid. Knocked away. Drummond with the ball. Picked up by Simmons. Out left to the wing. Love passes to Sexton. Drummond, high post. Outside low. Shot clock at six. Drummond, the screen on Curry. That's size winning out. I mean, he needed every single inch to hog in that. Now here's Simmons. And it's Simmons with the jam. And at six foot ten, Simmons, I mean, he has some insane handles. He's phenomenal at creating close. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt.
way he shot the ball, he had to be the choice. His percentage was fantastic, and he's just done a great job of finding space and taking advantage of every inch the defense gives him. Wow, did this game really turn out to be his show? A commanding performance like that makes for a sweet victory, especially on the road. Back to love. Pass to Garland. Here's Osman. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. He's back, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. You know, it, it appears they're determined to add to the lead, not with poor offense, but with big time D. The 76ers have gone 7 for 15 in the fourth. To the left side wing. Outside Tybal. Knocks it loose. One forty-nine left to play in the fourth quarter. Outside Sexton. Pass to Garland. Takes a three. Knocks down the long J. I love it. Just thumbing his nose at the height disadvantage. He's able to get the space he needs and convert. Yeah, he may just have to put a little more arc on that. But either way, it's a tough shot. Now Thibault. Back to Simmons. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Now, Grant, you were involved in a sign-and-trade deal from Detroit to Orlando, but you don't see that tactic as much anymore. You know, you really don't, B.A., but there's a reason for that. First and foremost, players today have a lot more control over their destiny. Shoot and two. also, teams are not going to wait until an elite player is in their final year and they don't have a firm commitment and belief that that player will resign. In a lot of cases, teams will trade that elite player before he enters his last year of his deal for fear that they may lose him for nothing in free agency. Good on the second one. Oh my gosh, I just got that. We've got 123 left in the fourth. They came out and had a statement win with their performance tonight. A fantastic effort to get it done here for the 76ers. They made the most of the extra rebounds tonight. Helped them out a lot. Yeah, when you look at these teams, they're both great rebounding clubs. And any night, either one could have the advantage on the boards. Outside, green. Pass to Embiid. Left side, Thibel. Harris with it. On the wing, Green. And here's Simmons. Shot clock at five. Driving inside. Oh, and the jam by Simmons. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Showing remarkable poise and focus uh, throughout the game. A sustained effort across the board. Here's Love. No luck on that one. And it's Philadelphia the other way. And here's Simmons. Pass to Embiid. 11 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. That's good from Simmons on the assist from Embiid. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. That's the dagger. You could tell they wanted that one. I know that's it. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. And that'll wrap it up, folks. Alongside Chris Weber, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for joining us. And we'll see you next time.